On another note, Andy, last week, um, Rabbi Matondo set up one of the goals. He did a piece at the, um, earlier in the week in the Daily Record with his ex-Circle Bruges captain um, yep. saying that he can come good. What do you think, when a player, I mean, fans have made up their mind really on him, haven't they? I mean, let's not kid ourselves on here. He's regarded as just a big, a big money flop and it's never going to work out. Can he pull it back? Do you think, is it too far gone or what do you think? I think it all depends on his own state of his confidence. I mean, I certainly don't think you can write him off entirely. I mean, when we went over to Belgium earlier on this season for the game against Union St. Gilles, we were speaking, speaking to their players, we were speaking to their coaches, the, the journalists over there, and they all, when, when you know, when they were discussing Rangers, he was sort of singled out as the biggest threat from Rangers because they what they'd seen last year, especially the second half of the season, um, when he was on loan from Schalke, and he, you know, they were big enough as being the best player in Belgium for the second half of last season. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so that, that tells you that there's, there is a talent there, there is a player there, but I mean, I agree with you, Kev, that he, he's shown so little of that since he came over uh, to, to Glasgow. So, I mean, it would take a major improvement in his performance levels. Um, I also think it, it probably, you know, it, a lot of it comes down to, you know, how is he used? I mean, obviously, we, when he first came in, he was a sort of right winger, which is not how he was used uh, at Circle. He was sort of played off the left. He was very much seemed to be like a counter attacking team. Um, he was given plenty of space to run into, to use his pace. Whereas, you know, you, you know, majority of the time when Rangers are playing, especially at home, teams tend to camp in. And if you're a wide player, uh, in those circumstances, you, the, the most amount of, sort of space you've got to run into is maybe five or ten yards. Um, you know, whereas last year in Belgium, he was having the whole, you know, Opposition have to run into when, they, when his team were on the counter attack, but certainly he, he's um, he, he former captain was, was so you know had so much praise for him. Said he's a lovely guy, and you know he's highly enough him as a player either. So there's certainly something there. It's just about can we just find a way to to get it over him. I'm not entirely convinced that they can. I wonder if he he'll be one of the guys that will have to be moved on in summer to, to make space for for others to come in. Yeah. I can't, I can't. I can't read Gav thinks to Benona as I saw again that Merlin setting up a goal. The signal for your Rangers spirit. Don't jeez, oh, you're clutching at straws there, Gav. Well, don't blame me. It was Andy. Andy wrote it. Andy, <laughs> Andy was picking up on the things that he wrote. <laughs> Andy was I'm just picking up Jesus. the hero. Right right under the bus there, Gav. Thanks for that. No worries. Hey, he was, <laughs> no, he was he was he was tracking um, down the men that know him best, so I'm sorry. He's, <laughs> he's got he's, he's got to fund that up. <laughs> uh, I agree with Andy, despite that piece, I just think <laughs> what? I've just no, I've just nothing. I mean even even the audio I see the puppets at Mum game, I was in the way. For what I gather speaking to people that were I mean, to move the bench, I think the first three times after the ball, he lost it. Then eventually, obviously, the game opens up at the end and he gets his, a nice assist for Morelos, to be fair. But Andy touched on, or I mentioned the word confidence, and obviously, that he, if for some reason Michael be okay, no, still a bit of confidence in this boy over the season or whatever, maybe, maybe he can get going again. Um, as Andy says, clearly there's, there's a talent in there. Whether it's been the pressure of being at Rangers, whether it's been picking up box, uh, as, as Andy touched on the Scottish game, and all that space to run in behind, which is clear what his game is all about. I'm not sure, but I, I, I just can't see a future for him at Ibrox. Uh, he contributed so little this, for the money they paid for him. I think he'll be one that, what did they pay, maybe... Between two and three million. If you could somehow you know, recoup a million, a million and a half, you no, know, maybe from a team in Belgium, you no, know, you no, know, people play rate them over there, um, all down south in the championship or whatever, then I think Rangers would Rangers would snap your hand off. 